process um, we just <laughs> just started yesterday uh, several students are going to get or got their packets with information and they have to get five or actually six of their teachers to fill out a recommendation for them uh, making sure that all the teachers agree that they'd be a good candidate they have to have a 3.0 or better um, uh, grade point average so they're getting verification of that uh, either by printing their grades for me or getting the counselor to sign off on that and they need to have their citizenship checked, make sure they're not getting a lot of like infractions. And then, um, then once all of that's done, we'll have a one-week election period from June 1st to June 7th. Lucas looks like he's in pretty good shape. <laughs> Lucas has got it. <laughs> Looking pretty good for Lucas. Wow. Lucas is on his own. There was somebody else, but he dropped out. Why do you want to run for ASB again? Um, I kind of just want to make a change in the school, and I want to continue the work that I've done last year, and like just be able to do more things as vice president. Um, well, I feel that ASB has just been such a big part of my life in the last year, and it was just such a blast, and I felt like I was doing a big thing for the school and making it a better place for everyone, and I just want to continue that through being the president and seeing what next year brings. Because I was on ASB this year and it was a lot of fun. We did a lot of activities for the school such as planning the dances and we did the hour of silence and the, it's just a lot of fun activities that you can do. Bye. Hello. Hello. Come on in everybody. Look at oh my Lucas. gosh, yeah. Lucas, you just right. got my coconut bras too. Spot on. All right, Hello. so, um, so posters. Second thing is, um, I've already had several requests from candidates to go beyond the buttons and um, sticker options. And so, as long as you don't exceed the $25 limit, right, there's a $25 limit, and as long as you don't exceed, and as long as you don't give, like, candy, money, um, bribery. Uh, bribery, things like that. I mean, so, you know, some people are giving out, like, little necklaces, some people are giving out pencils, uh, some people are doing out stickers. I think that's fine. Please, I'm begging, check with me before you do, because I want to keep you from doing something that's maybe shady or not okay. Congratulations, by the way, all of you for running. I think this is fantastic. But my spirit animal would probably be, I'm um, guessing, uh, like a dolphin or an orca whale. And why do you think that? Probably a dolphin, because dolphins are kind of playful and goofy. I feel like they don't take life too seriously. Uh, they get busy when they got to get busy, but most of the time they just relax and play and have fun, and I think that kind of fits my personality. Vice President, Secretary, or Treasurer, and you lose, come in second place, you have a shot at being an eighth grade rep anyway. Eighth grade reps will be the two eighth graders with the highest vote total that come in second place for the other positions. Does that make sense? So it could potentially be whoever wins, there's somebody who wins the presidency, whoever comes in second for presidency, if he or she has the highest vote total among those eighth graders who did not win, then that person will become an eighth grade rep, the two top vote getters among the second place positions. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's how you become an eighth grade rep. We will take two of those next year. Seventh grade reps, we're going from four to six. We had four this year, next year we'll have six. It'll simply be among the sixth graders who run, there's a lot of you in here today, those of you that decide to actually run for office, whichever six get the highest vote totals, they will be the sixth grade or the seventh grade reps next year. 
This year we have eight ASB officers. Next year we are increasing the ASB in size to 12 officers. You already said that there will be 12 people who get in. Mm -hmm. um, how, about how many people do you think will apply? Right now, that's a great question. At the moment, as of today, with the deadline being still two school days away, we have 25 that have turned in some of their paperwork. Nobody's turned in all the paperwork yet. But at this moment, there's 25 so far that have turned in all, uh, some of their paperwork. So I'm anticipating somewhere between 25 and 30 uh, candidates. That means that about half of them will not get into ASB. About, right? about half may not get in, yeah. Wait, wait. I'm nervous, dude. Why are you nervous? Because I can be. Why do you think that ASB is important? Um, because we can make a change in the school and we can, you know, work together to make things happen that are wanted. I think it's important because rather than having just adults decide what the students have to do for school stuff, it's good to have, like, students have um, a say in what we do. So that way, like, it's more fun. Uh, I think it is important, like I said, so, like, you can have a student body that you can just talk to and they can help you and they know what's going on always and, like, uh, you don't just have to go to a teacher because some people are uncomfortable with that. You can just go to your student body. Send me your application and paperwork. Please bring it by my room before you leave. So we're today. Henry Parker. Cool. Toss. So I'm going to actually go for real. Go for Ryan. Ryan the ball. I, are you? Hold your boy. I can try. Are you Ryan? Do. What do you think are some obstacles that might get in your way of being a good student body officer? Uh, maybe like kids suggesting suggesting to do like different stuff and like me not being able to do them and like and then them like sort of getting like you know mad at me. I think grades mainly because you might think, like, a lot of students will think, oh, ASB is really fun, and it is. Like, it is when you run for it and sing all this stuff. But I think, like, you students will pay kind of more attention to that and, like, oh, yeah, I can't wait for to plan this choice activity or this assembly and kind of, I guess, push away grades. The... Um. The teachers, what they're going to say about some of my ideas, and it might be a little bit crazy, but, yeah. And how do you think you will overcome those obstacles? Have a, make a deal with them, have a compromise. Are you ready? Right. Yeah. For what? President. President? I'll go for you. Who are some leaders in the school? Um, the president, the vice president, all the people that are in a higher place than me, and the teachers, and all the adults in this school. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Mr. Gerson and Mr. Batham are pretty great because Mr. Batham's like an amazing teacher. And Mr. Batham was right there. And he's like, <laughs> um, and he always like gets Madison involved in like new music things. Um, and Mr. Gersten, like, he does web and ASB, and he's like a good computer tech teacher in general. So, like, yeah, I think he's, they are both big role models. Can it be an eighth grade student now? Yeah. Okay, so Maya Moreno, in my opinion, is a very good leader because of many reasons. Great tall player, too. Yeah, so when I was in sixth grade, I went into senior orchestra in the beginning of the year. And I was, like, really freaked out because I didn't know anyone. And she just started talking to me. And I was really surprised, and it was really nice. She was really kind, and then she went on to become a web leader, which is awesome because she's a really good web leader, and yeah, she's just a really good person, good leader. Good morning, Madison. This is Mr. Gersten with the very first announcement. The first announcement is all. Running for office, please come to the gym right now with your speech. At the end, of, and then at the end of that week, we'll have an assembly. We'll have a special advisory that's 80 minutes long, an assembly for the sixth and seventh grades to come in and listen to speeches from the candidates. And then those candidates will uh, give their speeches. 
They have to be no more than two minutes long. And then everybody will hustle back to their uh, advisory classes and fill out ballots. And then there'll be a group of three or four adults during the day who will count up all the ballots. And at the end of the day, we'll announce who won. So that's the basic process. <laughs> The second thing is, you deserve it because you did something nobody else, there's only 23 of you, all the rest of the school, nobody else bothered to step up and try this. And that really says something special about the 23 of you already. Those of you who don't win, especially if you're a sixth grader, I hope you consider running again next year or applying to be a web leader next year, where your chances are significantly higher, right? Because I take 
50 to 60. In fact, this year we took 66 web leaders. So there are ways you can still be leaders in this building. Even if you don't win today, there are still ways you can be leaders next year and in your eighth grade year. Okay? Um, all right, you guys, I, again, I'm really proud of you. And the last thing I want to say is, I think I told you this before when we first started this, I did not have the guts myself when I was a middle schooler to run for office. So all of you really have my respect. You all did something I would never have done in middle school. I'm very proud of all of you. Having said that, here are the results. The president, uh, the winner of the president is Bianca. <laughs> Vice President, Lucas Fredericks. I had no idea. I'm so glad I didn't know you'd win. Good yeah. job. Somebody else got two votes, but he got <laughs> uh, Secretary, of course, is Gavin, who's not here. Uh, treasurer, in what was a very close vote, was uh, Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> The eighth grade reps, now there's two of you though that didn't, if you didn't win office, but you, you were still getting in is what we're calling, this is a new thing this year, calling eighth grade reps, which is you got enough second place, or you got, it's not second place votes, you got enough votes to come in second place, and there's two of you then that are eighth grade reps, and that is Henry Parker and two of us. So those six, the six of you are going to be AFD officers next year, okay? Uh, here are the seventh grade representatives. These were the top six vote getters amongst the sixth graders who ran. And again, I wish I could take you all because I think you'd all be great. Uh, and this is not in any particular order of vote or anything. This is just alphabetical. Abdul. Zoe. Molly. Jackson. Lily McDonald. And Maya Yeah! This is really everybody that I'm looking for. So, you guys did great. Again, for those of you who didn't win, you there was nobody here who got anything fewer than, I think, like 60 votes or something. A lot of you, even if you didn't win, you got lots of votes. Every one of you. So give yourselves a hand for running. All of you out there got a lot of respect from your uh, speeches, because a lot of people voted for you. Uh, you obviously all have a lot of friends that voted for you, which is great too. Uh, and I'm really excited to work with you guys next year. What is your spirit animal? The animal that represents you? That's a really hard question, but... Uh... Uh, orangutan. Why is that? Because I think I look like one, I think I act like one, I think... Um, yeah, I think I'm as smart as one. Wait, does that mean I'm dumb? A monkey. And why I is that? A monkey because, first of all, I love monkeys. Second of all, people have told me I look like a monkey, which I don't take offensively because I love monkeys. And also, I feel like my spirit animal is a monkey because when I was younger, like, I would always beg my mom for monkey stuffed animals. And I feel like your spirit animal always starts at a young age. I took a quiz online one time for my spirit animal, and it was kind of in the like the dark range of animals, so like a spider, a, were uh, a wolf, um, a eagle, probably because I guess I'm confident and I'm kind of fierce. Not really, not like mean fierce, but. <laughs> I feel like it might be a mix of several because I don't think I'm just one. So, yeah. My spirit animal is a horse. Why is that? Uh, because we're both like energetic and just happy and I don't know, we just, I love horses and they're awesome. Probably a narwhal because they're kind of strange but they have friends and they're able to be cool. They're just cool. I think it's like hardly a dolphin because dolphins are like um, smart and then they always stick together and I stick together with those people, my friends. And um, um, yes, that is, and also a unicorn because they like, they always, they're like, they're, unicorns are good, so, yeah. Um, a dog, bulldogs. And why do you think that is? Uh, because they're fun, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> An eagle, because it just represents so much, and I feel like fright, flight just shows freedom, and the, the sky is the highest of the world, and that just shows so much leadership and so much power, and I feel like, but without being controlling, the eagle is without controlling everyone, they still show leadership and are amazing people. Maybe a sloth. 
Why do you think that is? Because sometimes I'm slow. <laughs> In the main, <laughs> main, the main. Oh, I, I